What's up guys, Red Spark here, welcome to Risk of Rain 2. I've been playing this game non-stop in the past probably two weeks, trying to get a good run. But now I will show you the god run. So I'm playing as the Huntress, I'm currently in a safe zone, it's called the Blue Portal. Uh, the Blue Portal. Um, currently in a safe zone, just to do the intro and to show everything out. What made this game or this run so special is that I've had three 3D printers of this item right here called Tougher Times. It's a teddy bear. It's a chance to block incoming damage. I'll po probably put the, um, the percentage of it on the screen so you might do the math. I have 28 of it. Um, so, I didn't quite get lucky with the drops but I have an item called Shaped Glass. Let me just find it real quick. Yeah, there it is. Shaped glass. I have two of it. Which, as you can see, double your damage but half your health. And as you can see, I have maximum HP of 385. All the gold thing is just uh, a barrier. I'll get to that in a second. So, you might be wondering if it's like... Oh, um, I forgot completely. Risk of Rain is like uh, a dungeon survival uh, game. You can go single player, you can go multiplayer. Uh, it's on Steam. If you want to download it, it's uh, probably like $20 or something. So... Get to, getting to the point, so it might be saying, if, like, you might be wondering if it's, like, survival and you have a good run. Like, if you have 300, like, quarter, uh, it's, like, quarter of my HP. If you have quarter of your HP, don't you just get one shot? I'll answer with that if, we, like, once I leave the save zone. Because if you kill them fast enough, they won't be able to hit you. But how did I get through the early game? That's because... I had those tougher times, 28 chance to block incoming damage. And even though if I have a percentage to get hit, or even even if I die, I have two resurrecting teddy bears. It's Dio's best friend. I have two of them, so I have three lives. I have my current life, I have two other lives. So breaking down this whole, like, you can pause. I'm, I'll probably uh, detail every single item with the amount that I have uh, currently at stage 23. I'll detail everything that I have in the uh, in the description, so you guys might know like what's going on. Um, so let's just showcase this off. As I said, it's a survival game, like me trying to survive planets and it's like a dungeon thing. But it has turned to them trying to survive me because look at this. Look at this. Everything dies instantly. They all die. Look at this. Oh, this this thing is called a scavenger. I love killing him so damn much. Because once he dies, he drops this bag, which contains a bunch of items. And you get items, and now I'm even more powerful than ever. Now, I'm just moving around, killing them super, super fast, like one shot. And I get items, and moving on to the next stage. One thing I should be mindful of, those Void Reavers. Because what the Void Reavers do is, like once you, uh, like you saw, they explode on death. And the explosion doesn't just do damage, like a Monster Log Void Reaver. They don't just do damage, but they completely one-shot anything. And, like, they, they take them to the Void, basically. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just moving around in super speed, because I have enough movement speed items that I can just move around like this get a bunch of items and go to the teleporter to move to the next level so wait 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 wait, wait. uh it, it doesn't matter which which one i choose i just want to go in like a safe zone or no not in safe zone i just want to complete everything to get to the next area like as you can see everything dies instantly and i don't even have to do anything i basically hit my main attack the mouse button and they all die, which is amazing. I love it. Look, 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 look. They all die instantly. It's it's amazing. <laughs> I've been playing this game for a very long time to get a good run. I I had a good run. I really, really had a really good run without the shaped glass even. Um, without the double my damage and half my HP. And I even have this like two times, so it's... Uh, four times the damage, but a uh, quarter of my HP. I had a really, really good run, but the thing is, I didn't have a Dio's best friend. 
and I killed the Void Reaver and accidentally went inside the explosion. And I was have I like I remember this so perfectly. I had a lot. Oh, more teddy bears? Sure, why not? Now I'm even more invincible. Oh, look, 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 look. There's a, a shrine of combat. It spawns really, really tough enemies. Now we spawn, and they die. And my PC is broken. That's it. That's all I had to say. Now let's go like to the teleporter. They spawn a lot of enemies. Overloading imp, imp, uh, overloading imp overload, overlord. And it's dead. And it, it was probably a lot of them too. But I didn't see because all of the shit that's happening. And I get the item and now wait for the teleporter to charge. I have a lunar item right here. Uh, increase the speed of teleporter, but uh, charging, but decrease the area. I, I got it uh, from the blue portal, just to the uh, from the blue portal. I, I I don't know. It's just don't judge me. It's late at night, and I'm just playing games by myself. So you know, <laughs> and they basically all die. So I got it because I want to charge to charge the teleporter faster and get to the next area faster, and that's what I did. I did exactly that. And they all just die. And I, uh, this golden titan is uh, a thing. Oh, the, those void reavers. If you step inside this explosion, you instantly die. No matter how, how many, or like how much HP or barrier you have, you instantly get killed. So back to the previous thing that I was talking about. It's the ultimate run without the shape class that I had. I got one shot by those. And I had full HP and full barrier. Uh, no, I won't kill myself, no. The Celestial Portal is uh, a chance to kill yourself and end your run, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh, Hoopoo Feathers. Oh, Hoopoo Feather is uh, an extra jump. Oh, there's a chest that I didn't get. So, just one shot. Every oh, there's a legendary item. I'm hoping for a Wake of Vultures. It's an, an, uh, a legendary item that steals the abilities of enemies, and like if they have a shield, if they do anything specifically, uh, the Malachite, the Celestial thing, uh, you steal it after you kill them, like those. You kill you. You have this uh, this circle around you if you kill if you kill them. So I have enough gold, uh, specifically seven million gold. I go get this. Uh no, it's not. It's a plant healing fruit on kill. Not what I hoped for, but it's still, it's a legendary item. Like, what do you want more? <laughs> I will probably just loot this place and end the run and like. I'm, I'm gonna keep playing it. I just wanted to record it if, in case, like, I've, I've been trying to record a good round of Risk of Rain for a very long time, and I finally have it. Jesus. That took me a very long time. So, let's just see. Uh, pop the Shrine of Combat? Yeah, Shrine of Combat, sure. And they all die. Oh, it spawns scavengers. <gasps> I'm, I died? Wait, I... I actually died. Whoa, hold up. A scavenger killed me. But I have two other lives, so it's fine. I, I, and I honestly can't believe that I died. Holy shit. Now I get a lot of more items. And moving on. Now I have 30 teddy bears. Oh, nice, nice. A guillotine, which, uh, like, there's a, an instant, an instant kill of, um, the elite monsters. Which is nice. And more barrier, more things, more things to get. Yeah, I'm just gonna loot everything and just go. Oh, lizard. Dead lizard. More lizards. And now dead lizards. I love this game. I love this game. It feels so good to have this run. Uh, yeah, more attack speed. Oh, and uh, blazing lizards. And they all dead. I don't know. They all died. They all crumble under my feet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. And just get more items. Wait, wait, where's the teleporter? Let me just go up really high and see where the teleporter is. Like those red sparkles. And... Nope. Oh, another thing? Ah, sure, why not? Oh, it's green. Oh, there's the teleporter. And now spawn. Spawn the monster. Celestian Elder Lemurians. And it's dead. 
Oh yeah, uh, back to it. I need to focus on one thing. I need this golden titan is on my side actually. Um, so uh, there's a thing called golden portal. Once you go into the golden portal, you have to do like sort some sort of a challenge. If you kill the this golden titan, he becomes at your service every time you spawn a teleporter. So yeah, I mean he's there. I mean he's useless because I basically one shot everything, but he's there to help. He looks good and he looks badass. I, I can't. I can I step on you? Oh, I'm inside of him. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's basically what I've gotten into Risk of Rain. Everything dies completely once I step in. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the next round, the next planet, because uh, stage 5 of each round, uh, like a, a loop. The stage 5 is always the hardest, because it's really, really hard, and there are a lot of hard enemies on it. Whoa, look at those elite monsters get one shot. That feels amazing. I love it. <laughs> yeah, a, a worm, a dead worm. Now I need uh, elite items of the haunted mask to get like a, a chance of copy for everything that I kill. And I, I want a wake of vultures to steal their abilities. And I'm going to be extremely overpowered. I know, like, if you want to know about the elite items that I have, the golden, not... Legendary elite items, the red ones. I have two brilliant behemoths, which makes all my attacks explode. I have two clovers, which make which like increases your luck of and chances, like it rolls the chance again. Uh, but I have two of them, so I roll twice. So each chance, every chance on the game in the game is on my side. Like if I have a chance of critical strike. It rolls, if I don't get a critical strike, it rolls it again for me to get a critical. Oh, that, that, does. he just spawned. Oh, no, 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 that, the scavengers are really hard to kill because they have the ability to pick up items as well. So he picked up a, a black hole and that's what sucked me in. Which is, you know, I mean, it, scavengers are one of the hardest things to kill in this game. But I basically one shot them. And I get a lot of items. So, two Brilliant Behemoths, two Clovers of Luck, and I have two, oh, 32 Teddy Bears. Amazing, amazing. They all die so quickly, and I love it. So, I have, I, oh, I also don't have the hook. Oh, I want the hook too. I need to get every legendary item. That's gonna be so satisfying. But I, oh no, Void Reavers. I need to stay away from those because if you step in, you're out. You if you step in, you're out. That's just it. So, just more items, more loot. Why not? Why not? So yeah, this is the 3D printer. What uh, the one that I uh, I mentioned. What a 3 pr 3D printer does is that it takes um, an item of the same tier, if it's like white, green, yellow, and red. It takes a, like an item from your inventory of the same tier, and it replaces it with the one that it's showing. So I had a one for, I have three for them, for uh, like teddy bears, which made me invincible. Like a chance to miss, but like 20 times that chance to miss getting hit is just amazing. And I basically one-shot everything. Uh, another guillotine, just to one-shot more. Sure, why not? I have seven of those now. Oh, uh, Void Reavers, I'm not gonna step into those. No, I'm sorry. I, I, I probably, like, some of you are probably wondering what would it be like, but no. <laughs> I won't. I only have two lives left. And I, if, like, if a scavenger kills me or something, uh, I'm gonna be so pissed. Now I just need to find the teleporter. Oh, another shrine of uh, combat? Sure. I'm gonna get to there by this. I shouldn't... I shouldn't be... <gasps> a legend? Oh, I have that one already. Uh, Kellying enemies surrounds you with icicles. Yeah, this. This whole uh, aura around me. The icicles. Sure, it's another legendary item. Uh, where's the shrine? Oh, a lockbox? Sure, why not? Souls control units. And they crumble. Everything crumbles. Jesus Christ. I 
Wow. Oh, there's the teleporter. Let's just go do that real quick. Just to see how powerful I am. Wait, where is it? Oh no. A parent? An overloading parent. And it's dead. How quickly was that? And how amazing was that? So, let's just spawn the boss. An overloading worm. It's supposed to be really, really tough. Really hard. Boss, the overloading worm is one of the hardest in the game. Next to scavengers. And it's dead. Just like that. And I love it. That's that's amazing. That is fun. I mean, it gets tiring after a while, but I've wanted to get this point. I, I've wanted to get to this point for so long, and I finally done it. So I'm proud of myself. I'm gonna pat myself on the back and give myself a cookie uh, tomorrow because it's basically 1 a.m. right now, uh, and I'm playing games. So that was my god run of risk of rain 2 i really hope you guys enjoyed it a few minutes later so i made i did the outro i finished the recording but i kept playing and guess what this is wake of vultures <laughs> i went in a blue portal and i just got my wake of vultures and as you can temporarily steal the power of slain elites yep i just want to show you how things will be. I, I really want to show you. Uh, also, this is this class is the Huntress. Just like an archer. Not because of the auto-aim. I just play her because I really enjoy her. I've tried playing all the characters. I unlocked all the characters, by the way. But this one is the one that I like the most. See? Everything just melts. That, that was a scavenger and the Void Weaver at the same time. Also, one thing I didn't mention... If an enemy is inside the Void's Reaver, the Void Reaver's um, explosion, they also die. So it's kind of balanced in a way that I like. I did. I previously did it where I trapped like I got a scavenger. I couldn't kill a scavenger myself, so I got him inside the Void Reaver. Like I got so lucky that there was a scavenger next to a Void Reaver. I killed the Void Reaver and he killed the scavenger for me. So you know that's nice. I just want to show you this <laughs> th th this all of this everything explodes i i'm just out of words oh okay we'll leave that we'll leave that we'll leave that so i'm just gonna loot everything i'm gonna pop the shrine of chance uh not shrine shrine of combat with the teleporter uh a lockbox sure why not hmm sure like, if, if enemies have a shield now, I steal their shield. If they have, like, a, a debuff that uh, blocks me from healing, I block them from healing. Oh, another ukulele? I have six of those. <laughs> I, I'm just enjoying myself too much. Oh, Void Reavers. I'm not gonna... I, I swear. I, I, I wanna go in, but I don't wanna go in at the same time. Another. Hopefully legendary? Nope. Ah... Uh. Oh, I only have two of those. Well, that's fine. That that was weird. An overloading imp overlord. And instantly die. Yep. That's what my life has become. Just running around. Now, let's pop the both of them at the same time. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I have so much movement speed that I just rock into the air. So, this, with this, an ultimate challenge, you think? Oh, Void Reaver, no! And, Overloading Worm, I will take a moment to kill them. I don't know what's happening. And, it's dead. Everything is dead. Except me, of course, and my buddy over here, the Golden Titan, uh, Aure Aure Aurelianite? I believe it's name. Let me just... Uh, uh, yeah. Where's Aurelianite? Yeah. Aurelianite. Yeah. Hi, buddy. So... Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that what has, like, everything happened. Also, uh, it's, uh, as you can see here, it's normal difficulty. Uh, on Risk of Rain, you have three difficulties. The uh, normal and medium and hard they're not named this i'll probably i don't know what the names of the three difficulties i i believe the third one is called monsoon it's really hard i tried playing it but 
I it didn't go so well. <laughs> Monsters just re are really hard, uh, the difficulty keeps ramping up uh, faster, but this is normal, like this is the normal difficulty, this is the one in between. It's pretty hard, but pretty chill at the same time. I mean, I haven't gotten to this point before. I've gotten to this point uh, dicking around in easy mode, but in normal mode, that is just amazing. I could kill myself right now, I could go into Celestial Portal and sacrifice myself, but I'm not gonna do that. Because I want to keep playing, and I want to ke keep getting more items. Uh, I want to get the happy mask, the one that spawns enemies as ghosts. And I want to- oh, I also have my tesla coil. That also do does damage. Um, I want to get- oh, I got the wake of vultures already. And there was another um, legendary item that I didn't get, but now I got it. Uh, right before the, the recording ended. It's this, the hammer. Which uh, reduces their armor. I just killed a scavenger. And I didn't even notice. And I just loot the scavenger and go on with my day. That's fun. I mean, it is actually fun. Why, like, if you know Risk of Rain. And you, everyone wants to get to this point. An overloading worm. And I don't know if it's dead or not because it keeps going underground. Uh, let's make it three of those. Yeah. Now we'll just go pop the legendary uh, uh, chest and hope for the best that I get a non uh, like a legendary that I don't have. Oh, a shrine of combat, sure. Scavengers. Oh, they're taking. A uh, never mind. They're dead. Oh no. Oh, I almost died actually because their black holes are so annoying. Also, yeah. Um. Uh, if you if you have multiple scavengers in the same uh, in the same round or the, in the same planet, only one of them drops the bag. Because I mean that's fair, because you can't just kill five scavengers and each scavenger like say they drop ten items, you get oh another wake of vultures, sure thing. Uh, Shrine of combat scavengers, and they're melting. Like see, I killed probably like. 12 or 15 scavengers. I can't have those multiply by 10 to get all of these items. Imp overlords. And overloading imp overlords. Like they're elite. And they're all dead. I, I, I love it. I really, really love it. Uh, oh no. Oh, that, that scared that kind of scared me for a second, because these dudes are really hard to fight, but I mean, I've reached the point where there's actually nothing really hard to fight. Nothing is even remotely close to being medium. I mean, I as I said, it, it has come to them trying to survive me instead. And let me tell you, they're not doing a really good job at it. <laughs> they're not doing a good job at all. Now I just have multiple jumps and I have a lot of movement speed that I can just go around the map all I want without anyone telling me what you're doing. Like this. Oh, another missile? Sure. Chance to fire a missile. I already have seven of those. And with two clovers, like increasing my luck as I said, I'll even get more missiles or like a higher chance to fire missiles. Oh, uh, an overloading worm. See, that lightning should kill me instantly. But no, I kill it instantly. And moving on to the next shrine of chance. You get, you can get a maximum of two items for uh, in the shrine of chance. You can get anything. Uh, white, which is the most common. You get, you can get green, you can get red, and you can get uh, ultimate abilities. But I have the, this, I mean, that one is good. I'll get more HP, so in case I die, which I won't, it won't happen, I can't even pick the item, uh, where is the item, yeah, there it is, <laughs> I'll just go for more HP, because I have the firepower to kill anything instantly, uh, now I just find the teleporter, and I know I missed a lot of items like this, oh, I, I want a guillotine, oh no, I, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, yeah, I just don't want to die. Yeah, get another guillotine. Another shaped glass? Hopefully, shaped glass? No, no, I don't want that. 
that that one replaces your uh, your mobility thing with like uh, something really bad. More imp overlords, and they all died. I'm, this is enjoyable. <laughs> Wait, do I have a haunted mask? Why is he a ghost? Why is my beetle guard a ghost? Oh, there he is. So, this game is completely from your own skill. Yeah, I have an item that gives me a beetle guard, which is completely useless too. Oh, um, Celestian beetles. And they're dead. Yep. And I have the Celestian thing now. They die before I even notice. And it's amazing. Oh, Malachite beetle. Now I have the Malachite power. <gasps> I almost died. Oh my god, I almost died. <laughs> I, I I got into the Malachite uh, trap and it, it almost got me. Oh Jesus, that was scary. <laughs> but I didn't die. Even if I did die, I have uh, a thing that resurrects me. And even if I didn't have, I wouldn't care because I recorded it. Oh, uh, a radar? No, I, I I'm ha I'm fine with finding all the loot myself. I have nine fuel cells or ten. I don't know. So, each fuel cell is another uh, stack of your um, your ultimate. Uh, so I have 10 ultimates, which I can basically spam. Um, more healing, sure. Did I get even... No, I got the wrong item. Because of how fast I am, that like movement speed. It's fine. I just have uh, an item that converts all healing into shield if I'm at max HP. So it's the gold bar that's uh, on top on top of my HP. So I have like a permanent shield. I have also uh, a lot of Topaz uh, tokens. The ones that uh, they basically give you a temporary shield when you kill enemies. So I also have this. Uh, which means if I kill more enemies, I keep getting a shield. When I keep getting a shield, I kill more enemies and I'm completely invincible. I didn't get nearly as many items, uh, or like, I don't even bother finding items. I'm just gonna spawn the boss and kill it. Celestian Beetle Queen. Should be tough. Should be hard. But no. I've seen Markiplier do this with uh, Rex, the character that is supposed to be around healing and stuff. I thought it's only gonna be with Rex. I tried playing Rex. And I didn't like him. It was kind of boring for me. So I played my main character. Like the, the character that I enjoy playing. Which is Huntress. And I got this. I don't have to do anything and everything dies. <laughs> See? I'm not doing anything. I've, I've seen people do this. Like I've only seen Markiplier do this with uh, Rex. But I've done it with Huntress. And I wanted to record it. Because... Okay, this is my channel. I upload whatever I want. <laughs> so, I I'm, j I'm this is my hand, and this are people dying, uh, like monsters dying, not people. That would be weird. So, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna keep going, see where can I go, and probably uh, gonna sacrifice myself in the celestial portal because, I mean, this game is all about the risk of dying. And there is no risk of dying. Uh, yeah, I know what kills them. It's my Tesla coil. Now, let me find my Tesla coil real quick. Oh, this. Uh, shock, all, uh, shock all nearby enemies every 10 seconds. I shock them, and it crits, and I kill them. <laughs> um, I don't know. But that was just risk of rain. I love it. And I'm gonna keep playing. It's currently, uh, what? It's now... It's 1 a.m. Yeah, almost 1 a.m. So I'm just gonna keep playing. And if there's anything happens, I'll let you guys know. But probably I will actually end this video here. Uh, I'm gonna list all the items. Uh, once I finish, I will write the stage. And I will write all the items that I have. Um, so, that uh, with the amount of items that I have. Like each item and its amount. And uh, let you guys know. So that was for the second time. That was Rescue of Rain 2. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoy playing the game and actually recording for you guys.
Uh, if you did, again, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any video. And as always, I will see each and every one of you guys in the next video. See ya!